What is a minimalist approach to budgeting? That's what we're covering today. A budget is one of the best ways to save money. It's how Jess and I have simplified our expenses and reprioritized what matters the most to us. It's how we plan where we want our money to go and what we're aiming for financially. It's not something we were taught in school, but it's one of the most important things that we've learned in our journey to financial freedom. We're minimalists and we thought that we'd share our approach to budgeting. We hope that it helps some of you out there. First, what exactly is a budget? A budget is a plan of how you'll save and spend money. It's one of the most important financial tools that you can use to save money. By planning your income and expenses, money in versus money out, you can foresee how the costs of life stack up against the money that you're bringing in. A personal budget is a wonderful organisational plan you can and should use when you have goals you want to save money for. Like a house, a trip overseas, a beautiful golden retriever doggo perhaps. It's important to plan how much money you expect to earn and how much money you expect you'll need and want to spend. This is true even if you're not planning for any major life goals right now, because life can and will be unexpectedly expensive sometimes. Unforeseen medical bills, car repairs, emergency vet trips, etc. When we plan for the unexpected, we can be better prepared. When we plan for the expected, we will be better prepared. That's where a budget comes in. A budget is a wonderfully comforting and oh so practical money plan of how we can and will be better prepared for life, both the expected and unexpected turns. So now we know what a budget is, what is minimalism? Minimalism is intentionally and purposefully curating your life into what matters the most to you. It's about doing more with less. Less unnecessary and unwanted clutter more time for the people and things that you cherish the most. Minimalism is about actively choosing what matters to you, what you truly value and enjoy, and letting go of the rest. It's about focusing on what matters most, simplifying, stripping away the rest, and distilling the most important things of value to you. So why should you apply a minimalist approach to budgeting? Applying a minimalist approach to budgeting is an easy and rewarding way to provide clarity around your financial goals. By using a minimalist approach to your personal budget, you can focus on what matters the most to you. You can center in on what gives you the most joy and freedom and how your own money can help you achieve your goals. By stripping back and simplifying your expenses, distilling your cost into what matters most to you personally, you can unlock a more intentional way of prioritizing your own life and what you find most rewarding, worthwhile or important. This brings us to an important question. What is a minimalist approach to budgeting? In a sentence, spend less than you earn. Yup, in its simplest form and us minimalists are all about simplifying, it's really about spending less than you earn. Budgeting really boils down to putting a plan in place to spend less than you earn. It's far more common to hear messages of earn more than you spend, but there is a big mindset difference. If we look at this the other way around and focus on spending less to begin with, that's the crux of budgeting for a minimalist. Aim to spend less than you earn. But this can certainly be easier said than done, so it's important to delve a little deeper into the minimalist mindset for exactly how to follow through with this so you can save money for the things that matter the most to you. As we covered above, minimalism is about intentionally and actively choosing what matters most to you and ridding the rest. It makes sense then that we distill our expenses into only those things that bring us the most value, the most joy, the most purpose, meaning and necessity to us personally. This will change from person to person and it's through intentionally choosing what we spend our money on when we do have a choice that we can flex our minimalist muscles to save money for the things we truly value. Keeping these two key points in mind, one, spending less than you earn, and two, distilling our expenses, this now brings us to the very heart of our video. How exactly can you apply a minimalist approach to your budget? So here, we've got five steps so you can apply a minimalist approach to your budget. Step one, identify your goals. Reflect. Take some time to reflect on what you find most important in your own life and exactly what your goals are. Write. Physically write out your goals. What are you working towards financially? Perhaps it's a trip overseas for your honeymoon, a house, the freedom to quit your 9 to 5 office job, 
a birthday party for your doggo. <laughs> List your goals, big and small, short and long term, the dollar amount. Reorder your goals list from most important at the top to the least important. Once you've neatly reordered your goals, it's a good idea to stick them up or pin them somewhere you can see them regularly, perhaps a whiteboard in your kitchen or pinned to your phone or computer notes app. Two, understand your income and expenses. Take some time to look over your previous month or two of bank statements. Look at your incoming money and pay special attention to what things you usually spend money on. Build a rough understanding of where your money is going each month. This way you'll know what to account for in your future budget. Step three, start your budget. Time to whip out your budget. We'd recommend a spreadsheet for error-free adding, subtracting, repetition, and consistency. Ensure whatever budget you use has a section for your money in, e.g. your income, and sections for your budgeted amounts of money out, i.e. your planned money to spend. A good budget has the following features. It's simple and easy to use, has visuals to aid in understanding where your money is going, gives you quick information at a glance, and is customizable to your personal needs. You can feel free to create your own budget with these things in mind. Or if you want to jump straight into budgeting with an excellent spreadsheet, we've already done all the hard work for you. Check out the link in the description below for our very own minimalist budget. Step four, keep it consistent. Keep consistent and fill out your planned budgeted amounts at the same time each month. Your actual amount saved and spent should be filled out at the same time each month. Set a calendar reminder for yourself at the same time each month to complete your budget. In true minimalist style, make sure you take the time to really reflect on what your spending patterns are and decide if you're focusing on what matters most to you with your money saved and spent. Step five, simplify. Slowly start to simplify your expenses by deliberately and actively reflecting on your own values, desires, wants, and needs. Try to cut out any costs you don't feel value in, especially if this cost exceeds the value of one of your savings goals you're striving towards. Simplify your costs by distilling what you actually want to spend money on and the non-negotiable necessities for you and your family. Remove the rest wherever you can. Refine your planned budgeted amounts for the next month's budget to align with your simplified and most important financial goals. A healthy balance of wants and needs is key here. It's important to remain realistic when cutting your costs and certainly don't deprive yourself of anything that truly brings you value or joy. That's not minimalism. Remember, minimalism is all about intentionally focusing on what you value most and cutting out what doesn't bring you value so you can spend more time and energy and focus on what you love the most. In sum, you can apply a minimalist approach to budgeting by identifying your goals, understanding your income and expenses, starting your budget, keeping it consistent, and then simplifying it. Overall, spend less than you earn. There we have it, a minimalist approach to budgeting. As always, keep it simple, keep it intentional, and you'll be on your way to achieving your financial goals in no time. Happy minimalist budgeting.